Okay. So this is going to be a slight divergence from my usual content. We are going to do a crate opening. As you can see, I have a bit of doubloons and I am going to utilize those to purchase some Santa crates and see what I get. I don't normally recommend people do this. I was able to purchase doubloons with coupons. So, I mean, I was able to get some extra, <clears throat> excuse me, I was able to get some extra doubloons uh, than you would normally get for the winter event because I knew that these Santa crates were coming. I've always wanted the Jean Bart. I missed out on it. So this is what I'm going to do. And I'm thinking I should get the balloons back. I'll buy one more. And to see that go down is sad and kind of scary. But 61. Eh, you know what? Uh, I'll save some doubloons. So, let's see what happens here. Make sure I'm actually recording. It is actually recording. That would have been a bad time. So, 61 crates. Some of these are the free little crap crates that you get um, that Wargaming gives you in there. But let's see what happens here. These are level 3, so there's a good chance that they will go up and be 4 or 5. Hopefully. Oh, global. Just what I needed. Okay. Keep going. <clears throat> so 61 crates overall uh, give you a good indication of what you're going to get if you purchase all these insignias. You know, I will always take those. I always need those. Sorry, I keep clacking my ring against the controller. Um... Oh, well, there you go. Got some doubloons. 2,024. It's pretty good. I would prefer uh, 100,000, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure you don't get the chance of 100,000 with the level 3 crates. But any doubloons back... Hey, level 4. Any doubloons back is uh, better than nothing. Oh, the Gascon. I already have the Gascon, I think. Oh, no, I don't. I don't, I have, I have the champagne, so great, I got the Gascon, which I never really wanted, but, eh, we'll give it a shot, maybe I'll make a video about how terrible it is. Next up, another crate, more doubloons, 2024, okay, so that's a little over... 4,000 doubloons given back now, which is pretty good since I just spent a ton and it kind of hurts to do so. I am hoping for 100,000 doubloons. Oh man, that would be nice, but every time I do this event, it never happens. I never even get close. It's like I probably get four crates in total with doubloons in them and then everything else is like that, like a paint which I don't want, I don't need. And ever since they changed the way that camo works on your boat now, those are, I would say, fairly useless. Hey, tier four, okay. Seeing that crate number go down is awful. It's awful. Hey, 2,500, okay. Going back up a little bit, I will take that. I've seen other crate openings where people will get doubloons back and they'll go buy more crates. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to avoid that and try to get some doubloons back and use it for like the next event or whatever. Because that seems kind of sad to... Oh, the Constellation. Uh, another ship that I never really wanted, but hey, I'll take free ships anytime you want to give me them. Anytime, Wargaming. Give me free ships. That's fine with me. Even though it's not really free, because I bought crates. <laughs> what are you going to do, you know? Oh, okay. Promotion orders. Don't really need those. Oh, I forgot to look. I wanted to look, get a good idea of what I had. So, 18. Um, yeah. 18, 991, and 70. Okay. 
promotion arch, just so I, I know exactly what I had before I started all this. I know it's not going to be accurate anymore, but at least I'll have a better idea because I still got 51 to open here. And 25,000 global. Don't really need that. Don't really need that, but maybe I'll fast forward a boat that I can't stand something in the French line or the Or the Russian line. Oh insignias. Hey, I need those like kind of bad um, Yeah, the French destroyers and the hey Bayard. Yes, please. I thought about buying that but I didn't So I'm kind of glad that I never did because I just got it out of a crate. I, I love HE spam and cruisers. I'm one of those jerks that uh, battleship mains hate because I'll just burn you to the ground. And then we have another uh, silver. That's fine. You know, I have ships that I need to buy. I have a few tier 8 ships that I do need to buy. So I'll take silver. Ashan. Never wanted it. But now I have it. It's an it's another what is that crappy ship? It's another basically Russian destroyer that I hate using. A Nevni, I think it is. Okay. Oh, alright. Now that I cannot complain about. That is That's top tier. Top tier gift there wargaming thank you okay 20 promotion orders okay i don't have too many commanders anymore that need promotion orders but you know when a new commander comes out i could just max them out with promotion orders santa and blue i definitely don't need that oh boy that's kind of awful Ugh. we're getting closer to that 40 number too all right two more million I wish it was more than two million that'd be nice if it was like five or six million oh just what I needed more days of premium as if the last two winter events uh, or holiday events didn't already give me well over 600 days of premium yeah it's fine it's fine I think the lowest that I've gotten within a year is like 580 and then I keep getting days of premium, which obviously I don't need promotion orders. Again, don't need it. I don't think I've touched a, a level 5 box yet. So there's a 4, so there's a small chance that I'll get a 5. And that number of crates is dwindling, sadly. Insignia? Yes, please. Take that. I won't take that. Still at 20,000 doubloons, another tier four. Um, I would like to see that uh, doubloon number go up to like 25, but I don't think it's gonna happen. It seems like they're giving me kind of crap. Oh, but commendations, yes please. Yes, please. That seems kind of random. The last one I got was a four, this one was a six. Eh, that's odd. Well, I'm starting to get level four boxes now. Crates, containers, whatever you want to call them. But no fives yet. Okay. Well, see that stuff I'm not going to complain about because I will always need and use. I have a few commanders that I really, really like, but they're 14 or 15, and I need insignias in order to level them up. Wow. Uh, level 5 box? No, more silver. Alright. That's not ideal. But hey, I still have 35 boxes. Look at the positive side. Hey, almost at 700 days of premium. I don't think this game's gonna last that long. The devs are gonna walk away within 600 days of my premium. And one insignia? Okay, well, alright. That was a joke, by the way. I don't think they're going to walk away after a couple of years short of 2,000 more. I'm closer to that 25 mark that I want. Kind of get back to having a bit of doubloons. I will say if I get 100,000 doubloons, I will probably buy more crates. 
I don't see why I shouldn't. Hey, holiday camo. I don't need that. Ooh, a Goupard! I was just talking about French destroyers, wasn't I? I'm pretty sure I was. Just what I wanted. Man, Christmas comes early. Okay, a key! Okay, alright. I do love Japanese ships. I thought I had the key. Interesting. Perhaps I do not. It's fine. It's fine. Keep going. Keep rolling. Tier three. Got 20 promotion orders. Don't really need it. But that's okay. Stacking that stuff for the commanders that I never use and are still tier one. Like Bumblebee. Hey, commendation. I could use that to level up Bumblebee too. Bumblebee tuna. 26 crates. Woof. It's getting scary. 2 million. I'm back up to the 50 million mark, roughly, of silver, which is good. Because I just bought a couple of tier 8 boats and it just it decimated my level of silver. There's two more. Okay. Okay. And I think I still have roughly two more tier 8s that I need to buy. I get the feeling that I'm going to be over 700 days of premium, which is just ridiculous. I don't need it. Hmm. Cotton. Okay. More silver. The prizes at this point are starting to uh, really go downhill. And, I mean, I bought quite a few crates, so you can get an idea of what you're going to probably get through, I don't know, having 20 or whatever through the event. There's that level one that I think they give you when you first buy the campaign. 5,000 global. It's not that great. It's not that great. Free crate. Yeah. It's gotten bad. It's gotten real bad. I think these tier ones don't have a whole heck of a lot in them, as you can see. Um, whatever they give you is going to have a small amount inside of them and also they have a very low chance of giving you anything worthwhile okay these crates are terrible but what can you expect from free crates you know what i'm saying okay well boosters i do need so that's fine a, a, a ship would have been nice but what are you gonna do hey i got a a playing card Oh boy. Some of these things that they give you, man, are just like laughable. Hey! More paint. And I can see right there I got more silver. Oh, good. Goody. I did get some free ships out of this, which is nice. But I don't think they're too, too great of ships. Like, the key is okay, I guess, but the other ones were like. Uh, the good. The, the Jupard, which is ugh. Which is ugh. What? What is this? Power of the North. Okay. I got the new Tech Tree German Destroyer. The Z31. Okay. And the pers personal mission with it. Okay. Well, there's rewards for that, and it's probably gold, so that's cool. Maybe I can make some gold off of that in the end. Nine more crates, and it's looking a bit scary. Credit boosters, sure. I don't remember how I attained these. I think it's through buying the campaign and going through it. Assumptions. Hey, all right, holiday camouflage. Friggin' terrible. Just the large winter crate, which, hey, boosters. Boosters are good. More large winter crate. Okay. So, yeah, essentially you could see that after buying I think roughly 30 and having a few extra on hand of the level the level 
three Santa crates or holiday crates, however you want to say it. It's just... I mean, you're going to get free boats, but I don't think you, uh, you are going to get exactly what you want. I, hey, I got a tier two. Like, I wanted the Jean Bart. I've always wanted the Jean Bart. I missed out it all. I missed out on it when the campaign came around because I don't remember why. I was I'm pretty sure I was broke and I just didn't feel like buying it. And that was a bit of a mistake because that is a very OP boat even to this day. Hey, tier two. Let's go tier three, tier four, tier five. That like gives you another crate. Okay. Well, needed that. See what I mean? Seven hundred. Ah. <sighs> You see what I mean? That's probably a blue crate. Oh, it's a tier three. Okay. And <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, that is it for that crate opening. And uh, yeah, I didn't get a whole heck of a lot that I really wanted, but I did get free stuff and I got Let's go over to the commander stuff. So now I have 24 insignias which is pretty good 1057 promotion orders which is fine i don't really need them obviously i have a thousand and 85 promotion orders hmm i think i said promotion orders with the um i always forget the name of these damn things whatever it's fine you know what i'm talking about the little crappy circles that you don't need once your commander reaches like level 13, 14. Well, with those promotion orders though, the 85 or personal commendation, that's what it is. 85 personal commendations, that is a decent amount. I think that's probably the most I've ever had. I may be wrong. I think, yeah, it's fine. That's great. I can start getting some of these... Uh, special commanders that I don't have duplicates of leveled up a little bit. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. So I did get some ships that I had no interest in getting, which is fine. I could have swore I had the key, but it was probably something else. What is, the Ashitaka. I do have the Ashitaka. Okay. And uh, that's fine. I'm, uh, God, I did not care about this ship at all. I'll use it though. I'm sure it does some major AP damage. Oh, well, it's got decent AA too. I think it's uh, basically a Magi with better AA. Well, the Amagi with better AA. Yeah, that's got old like 1942 style secondaries in AA, while the key has upgraded anti-air you can see those those secondary turrets are basically the akizuki turrets which double as anti-air so that's cool sure sure it's an amagi that i can continue to use and get premium wins for sure I don't even remember what I got for ships, man, because I'm uh, slightly disappointing. Ashishio B, I got that a little while ago. Lutsu B, I got that a while ago and never used it. Surprise, surprise. Midway, never used it. Blah. Some of these boats. Oh, the Constellation. Okay, well. 406s, yeah. Eight of them, which is fine. It's not great. Two times three torpedoes. God, those are dirt slow. Absolutely dirt slow. Good AA, as you would assume, from an American battleship. And I know she's got decent armor, she's got radar. Sure. It's fine. It's a ship that I got for the free. Sure. Leviathan. That boat's okay. Oh boy. Yep. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining me on my crate opening, even though I got kind of dogged on that. It's all right. It was worth the try. 
I definitely, seriously wanted the Jean Bart just for bragging rights, uh, but I don't think that's gonna happen. At least I didn't get the Tiger 59. God, what a uh, what a disappointment of a boat. My boat is worthless. Hey, I got the tier six, so I don't have to grind like a mother to try to get to seven and eight in the end. It just, oh, it's got 150s, that's pretty decent. Big old guns, reload every 5.5, which isn't terrible. Ooh, the maneuverability though is not good. And the AA is pretty terrible as well. Okay. Oh boy, Turbot's B, I got the 44 that I never used. Oh boy. Oh yeah, the J J the Gepard W. <laughs> I don't care about this boat at all, dude. It's so bad. Oh, the Bayard. Yes, please. Yes, this one I am happy about. That's bound to be a good boat. It's basically the tier seven version of what the hell is that ship called the colbert yeah the colbert i mean that ship is great but this ship has larger guns let's take a look at her specs that's the wrong boat that's the wrong boat 7.5 second reload time which is okay actually not great for tier 7 152s but i guess that's understandable because they don't want to outshine all the other he spammers got decent aa kind of crummy torpedoes 90 second reload time nine kilometers 60 knots meh eh kind of crap 34 knot speed so pretty quick 730 turning circle which I'm pretty sure is not not bad for a French cruiser. But that rudder shift is awful. 9.3 seconds. Okay. Hmm. Got the gas going. Which I never wanted, but now I have it. I think it's basically the champagne, but with, with Jean Bart guns. You know? Yeah, 380s, 2 times 4 have to show full broadside to get both guns on but she should be relatively quick 32 knot base speed and I yeah she has an engine boost which lasts 180 seconds okay so it's a flank pusher and what's the armor like okay it's decent but I do have a feeling plunging fire on those turrets are going to knock your guns out all the time. Uh, yeah, nimble, fast, blah, blah, blah. See, it has those 3x3 three three 152s, which you would think, like, okay, they're giving you, essentially... A light cruiser on your battleship. You'd think it'd be a decent brawler. I don't think it is. With a natural firing range of 17.8 kilometers, this is definitely meant to be a sniper. So if you're getting close enough into secondary range, you're doing something wrong, I think, in this boat. Or stuff has gone horribly wrong for your team. And a detectability by sea of 14.8 kilometers whoa that's awful that's awful what's the repair like 417 eh, not bad and i'd probably run spotter with it since the aa is eh I, i'd probably still run spotter just so those guns aren't missing because you're not going to get much of an opportunity 28 second reload time, yeah. But that AP shell damage, holy crap. And if people wanna go nose on to you, 36% chance to set a fire. Eh. It's not bad. 
It's not great. Not a. It's not a nose tanker, but it's all right. It's a boat. It's a boat they gave me. It's a boat I got for buying crummy crates. I think that's kind of it, other than the Ashan, which I don't care at all about. I think that's the Nevni, basically. And uh, if I remember right, I hated that boat. That boat is awful. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me. That's it. That is it. Oh, boy. What a terrible, terrible crate opening. I'm sorry if you had to watch this and uh, there's a swelling of disappointment in your gut like there is in mine. But uh, that's just how crate openings be. I'll probably do a video on the Bayard and the Gascon and maybe even the Key. I do really like Japanese ships. I know they're uh, generally underwhelming when it comes to community and the response from the community, but I think they're really good. It's just they get smacked around because the armor's not great compared to their competitors. Ooh. What a disappointment. Didn't get no flags out of it neither. All right, well, that's okay. All right, folks. Thanks for joining me on this roller coaster ride of disappointment. I think there it is. That's it for me in this particular video. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, help this channel grow. I appreciate any support that you can throw my way. I will be posting more videos in the days to come. So, that's it for me. I'm Buckshot Bucky. I'll see you in the next video.